statute, which is 18 U.S.C. section 922 G1. Following his conviction, he appealed and lost several times. But in 2019, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled in another case that that section this man was convicted under had been misinterpreted during the trial. They said that the courts have gotten wrong what 18 U.S.C. section 922 G1 means. And therefore, if you take the new reading that the Supreme Court said is correct, this guy shouldn't be in jail. So he asked to get out. They said, no, you were convicted like a, an actual guilty person. Therefore, you're still in jail. And his argument is, but the Supreme Court has said that the reason I was convicted is wrong. So as a result of that second ruling, the conduct that led to Jones's conviction was no longer enough for him to be legally guilty of the crime. Jones challenged his conviction again on that basis, and uh, they say that, well, there's no new facts here, and uh, the only question then is, he violated the underlying statute, but he violated only under the misunderstood interpretation. I know it's weird, but he lost that appeal because federal law puts a limit on the number of times a prisoner can ask for review of a conviction. Because Jones had already filed a habeas petition years before, he lost his case both before the District Court and the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit. And again, those petitions were filed before the Supreme Court made its ruling. So arguably, they're saying, that he should not have filed any appeals until the law got overturned. Then he could file his appeal and got, you know, get out. But how do you know they're going to do that? In a practical sense, Jones's case seems maddeningly illogical. The Eighth Circuit ruled against Jones on the basis that he should have raised his claim in his first petition, but if he had raised the claim at that time, he would have lost because the second ruling hadn't been made yet. The four of the justices are three distinct points of view, one of which is that Jones' argument that his conviction should be vacated because he is no longer legally guilty, that's possible. The federal government's position is that Jones should lose for reasons other than than those relied upon by the Eighth Circuit. And of course, the Eighth Circuit's position, as argued by a court-appointed attorney and a former 